Vigie Won Song, which uh, I know is quite a mouthful. It's French. Um, I'm, the, uh, I'm the captain of the ship, per se. Uh, the director, producer, creative catalyst, so to speak. Hi, I'm Irma. Um, fashion is pretty much my life, if you couldn't tell by all these fantastic accessories. This is, this is my life. This is, this is what I live for, and um, this is really an amazing opportunity. I just feel so blessed. We just need something that's totally... Spectacular. Oh, V? Oh, he's total visionary, totally amazing in every way. He just has such a, a keen eye for small details that we Americans just can only dream of. I mean, growing up in Provence, just it just gives you that sensibility. Oh, Bill? He's a total douche. He has us do the dumbest stuff. Our project, wait for it, fashion, art, or science. I'm not saying it looks bad, I'm just saying you could do better. Wait. Okay. Oh, get this guy, he's a nightmare. Excuse me. Um, can I just ask you a couple questions? Yeah, yeah, sure. Okay, awesome. Um, I was wondering what you were thinking this morning as you were getting dressed. Um, I see a little tree action going on and um, some pops of color. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I didn't really... You know, it's not really their fault. They grew up in this American society. They don't have the tide of the culture pushing them towards true art. A ask him about the sandals. Can we get that? I just want to know, I gotta ask, I mean, what, what, the heck, what, what the heck is that? You know, what were you thinking? They mean well. It's just, there's nothing they can do. It's like they say, if you want something done right, you have to do it yourself. <laughs> so, uh, the brown and black, uh, you trying to break some cannons here? Break some cannons. Yeah, like precepts, design-wise. Uh, no, I just got dressed. Okay, yeah. 7 a.m. Just got dressed. Yeah. She, just, she just got dressed, yep. Okay. Um, I just threw on clothes. Yeah, he just, he just threw on clothes. Um, I'm seeing some nice white trainers with the gray sweats going on. Can you talk about that at all? Um, no, nah, I just threw on some sneakers. Okay, this cool. wasn't how I was dressed this morning. Really? Yeah, I had a golf tournament this morning. Oh, he had a, he had a golf tournament. So, so I was dressed pretty nicely. Nicely? Yes. His, his definition, yeah. Okay, cool. Awesome, thanks for your time. Yep, no problem. Thanks. What's the project about? Um, it's this really visionary series of interviews, and it's this really awesome documentary just about fashion here about scientists. Hopefully we can inspire these people that we talk to to really bump up their game and I'm just, it's the first of its kind. I'm really excited. Basically talking about students at engineering schools and how they can't dress themselves. Excuse me, sir. I was wondering if I could, I could borrow you for an interview really quick. Just a couple questions. All right. Um, I was wondering what you were thinking um, with the white sneakers and the jorts today. Uh, it's a hot day out. Um, I I guess. It's hot in here. I guess. Um, and the Stanley Cup, two thousand nine. Um, it's two thousand twelve. Why am I doing this? My mom told me to branch out. And honestly. I could use some more activities on my resume. It wouldn't hurt. And it gives me a chance to make fun of the bullshit students wear. Uh, this is, I went fencing earlier today. Fencing, okay. Yeah. Right. Really. That explains, is, is this jacket to prevent the, the swords? Well, this is not actually what you wear during fencing. Oh, okay. I don't, this I'm is not just, familiar uh, with the sports. Um, this is part of what you wear during fencing, okay. and then you wear a matching kind of thing over it. Um, and this, I don't like to wear this, you know, walking around because it doesn't look right. Right. So I wear. Yeah, it doesn't. Athletic. Doesn't type doesn't look right. Right. Yeah. Room. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. So your shirt says 1912. Is that when you picked this outfit out? Uh, no. But. Um, can you tell us, uh, please, <laughs> what what the heck's what the heck's going on here? Now, what were what were you thinking with when you when you picked these clothes out of your closet 
or a pile of garbage, whatever. What, what were you thinking? Um, nothing really. I mean, like <laughs> <laughs> yeah, weekend. Nothing. He wasn't. He wasn't thinking. <laughs> I mean, there's nothing to think about. I mean, I I had it all set out for me. He planned. <laughs> that's cute. He planned it. Okay. Awesome. Uh, thank you so much for your time. No problem. Yo, Bill, I'm grabbing some money for some soda. Yeah, I saw his driver's license. Provence? Providence. He's from Rhode Island. Makes sense because he's always pronouncing things really weirdly. Can you pass me the chazis? For a big shot, I always make sure I'm perfect in the, uh, mewah. This is great quality denim, but I prefer Cotan. Yeah, Tom showed me the wallet. Um, Providence is a great city. It's, I guess it's really progressive. Um, that's really all I have to say about that. Tom, are you finished with my wale? Do you mind if we interview you for a second? Uh, sure. All right, thanks. Okay, uh, I'm just wondering what was, uh, we're, we're trying to gather some, some data. We're trying to, what was going through your head when you got dressed this morning? Uh, it's laundry day. La laundry day, nice. Yeah. When, do you, were you in Brooklyn earlier? Or? No. Okay. Okay. Uh, you got a lot of colors going on here. Do you want to talk about that? Uh, again, it's laundry day. Uh, this is kind of my least favorite pants, my least favorite shirt. Uh, yeah, mine, favorite mine sweater. too. Okay. Yeah. Right. So, uh, it's kind of, it's a uh, luck of the draw, really. Really? Okay. What, what's this for? Uh, we're gathering data on, oh, uh, on, uh, attire of scientists. Okay, I'm a social scientist of that. Oh, social scientist. Okay, sweet. Thank you. So, I was wondering if you just rolled out of bed. I'm just looking at your outfit and... Guys, can you hold on a second? I was, I was filming those girls over there. Tom, that's like the third time today. I. Tom, oh my word, I am trying to do something magical here! He totally freaked out in there. <laughs> I worked so hard just to put my creative genius out there. Made, just mess everything on. I could keep it to myself. But I put it out there, I put it out there for them to bring smiles to people's faces. And all they do is disrespect me. <sighs> he cried. Yeah. Well, tomorrow's a new day. Um, I'm just hoping he can bounce back and be the same V that we all love. He's gonna be fine. He's just like a little girl. He's gonna wake up in the morning and he's gonna forget everything ever happened.